hello friends today in this tutorial i will be telling you that how to make a web rtc peer to peer upload and download kind of a application in angular so basically you will be able to upload files with progress bar these can be any type of file image file video file or any sort of file that you have any extension so basically let me just show you a short little demo of this application what we will be building in this tutorial live stream so basically you will be having a choose file button and basically if you click this button you can pick any fi file here which it have having here so you can see here it is uh, 3.35 megabytes file so this is a video file so now basically you will see this is a progress bar it is giving you the percentage so once it reaches the 100 percent mark so now you will see the file is successfully uploaded to the server so we can simply inspect element and if i go to the console you will see that inside uh, the console we have a http re response object inside the body we see the file is successfully uploaded to this link here which provides you this uh, unique link if you open this link inside the browser so the file is successfully uploaded you will see that this is your file which is successfully uploaded here to this website which is file.io so basically it's a file download website where you can it's a google drive version where you can upload files and share with others so simply you can click the download file button to download the file at uh, the remote location so basically it's a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, upload and download kind of application in angular so we are using webrtc for this to connect the two clients and also we are using socket.io uh, in the background we are making the http request and in return it is uploading this file to this uh, and giving us this unique link and then we can download the file we can repeat this process we can choose image files as well if you want if i want to just uh, you can also put the image file you will see that once it reaches 100 percent it will again give you this http response now once again in the body you will see that this file is successfully uploaded and it gives you this unique link that uh, you can copy paste simply go to this uh, url and uh, here you can download your image which is uploaded here which is the screenshot so now if you open this you will see that in this easy way guys you can make your upload and download kind of application in angular so let's start building this application from scratch so i have given all the source code in the video description so if you want to get download all the source code you can refer my blog post which is there inside video description you can simply go to the edit option so and in the video description you will find out this is my the source code so one question is there is this recorded stream not this is not recorded this is a live stream i am uh, coding live here so if you have any sort of question that you want to ask me you can just uh, type it in the comment section i will also take your questions while i am coding so it's not a recorded stream it's a live stream so you can participate and ask questions about programming or related to this tutorial as well so i will more than happy to answer your questions so let's start building this application guys so for building it you will need to create a new angular project so i will close all the windows here and start from scratch so we will go to our projects directory so first of all guys please hit the like button subscribe the channel as well and uh, also hit the notification bell icon so we will make a new file manager i will cd into this and now to initialize a new project of angular we would use the command ng new and followed by the name of the project which will be upload download so basically just create this project guys so this will ask some questions to you that whether you want to include the angular routing so i will say no and we will use the css style sheet format so basically guys it will create this inside your uh, directory it will install all the packages so it will hardly take uh, 5 to 10 seconds and it will build out your application so if you see this is our folder file manager 
and this is our project folder so once again if i open this inside another window so you will see that it has created this project and this is our brand new angular project go to the source folder app folder and you will find out this is all the code inside app.component.html and uh, we don't need this code simply delete this and inside app.component.ts files so once it completes guys we can move with the application so it is just installing these packages so just wait so it is still installing these packages so it totally depends upon your computer speed and internet speed guys so if you have a good computer then it will take less time so now it is completed so we can go into the project directory which is upload download so for this guys we don't need any sort of th third party dependency we will only need the http cl client library which we need to include so basically the very first step will be to go to the app.module.ts file and here you here you need to include the module that we need to install here sorry include which is uh, http client module so basically it is present inside the angular library angular slash sorry angular slash uh, common and uh, slash http so from this we need to include this http client module so just include this and the second dependency guys we also need to work with forms inside angular so we need to include the forms module which is present inside the angular slash forms so we need to include this forms module so simply include this forms module and right here we need to include this inside the imports array so put a comma and include these modules forms module and uh, http client module that's it so now we have included both these modules which is forms module and http client module simply close this file and now you need to open the app.component.ts file so right here inside this file guys what we need to do is that inside our template we need to first of all we will write our template so inside the template we will simply have a simple input field so this will be file and uh, just close it and here we will bind a event so when we click the upload file button this function will execute automatically which is this upload method and it will take this event object which is event dot target dot files so just write this and now to show the percentage also right here beside this you will say upload percent inside double curly brackets you will write percent done this is the percentage and you will have the break tag after this So after this guys you will make a ng container tag so inside this ng container tag we will have a if condition so basically if the file is successfully uploaded then we will show the message that the file is uploaded so we will surround this inside our ng if which is uh, upload success so based upon this value whether it is true and false we will show the message to the user that upload successful so basically when this value becomes true then only this message will display other than this message will not display so this is all the html code that you need to write now moving on to the typescript code just open the app.component.ts file and here guys you need to just declare some variables here which is percent then which is a number variable so just declare it like this and uh, you need to add a not symbol to it 
this is the latest TypeScript version. Upload success will be, as I already told you, this will be a Boolean parameter, whether it's true, true and false, depending upon that, we will show the message to the user. So that's all you need to uh, declare. And now we will have a constructor, guys. So inside the constructor, we will have a reference of HTTP client. So we need to include this HTTP client module. So it is successfully upload, uh, included here. You will see at the very top. So this HTTP client is included from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. That's it. So after this guys, what we need to do is that we need to write the function which we have binded, which is this upload method. So in a, which when we, uh, let me just start the application and show to you. So ng serve, we start this uh, angular application. So it will start this uh, angular app at port number 4200. So it will generate all the bundles of this application. So just wait. So up till now guys, if you have any sort of problem, you can ask in the comment section. So it is saying that uh, event dot target dot files is current possibly null. So for this guys, what we need to do is that uh, the correct code will be uh, just remove this from here. And here you just need to paste it here. So right here, we will be pasting here like this. So we will not be writing a separate template. Inside the template, template string, we will be copy pasting this like this. So if you now refresh it, So I have given the source code in the video description guys. So let me just do it. Uh, let me paste this code here. So, so now there is no error. Guys, you can see that. So you can see that. So basically we are uploading these files to this URL, which is file.io. So the website that I talked about. So basically this website is very much similar to Google Drive. So basically you can share any sort of file up to 2 GB with the, you can just upload your, upload the files here and it will give you the unique link. So basically it's a peer to peer application. So, so we are doing it programmatically using angular applications. So basically we are doing the same process. We are making the HTTP request here using this HTTP client module. So you will see that. And we are also showing the progress bar in, in as well. You can see that percentage. And uh, right here you will see we are making it this post request. We are passing this form data, which we have uh, Inside this input file, you will see that when we click the upload file button, we are executing this method, which is this upload method. And here we are passing this event.target.files. And also beside this, we are also printing out the percentage, how much percentage the file is uploaded. And when the file is successfully uploaded, we are showing the message that upload is successful. So this is the post request we are making this. 
and for showing the progress bar we are using the math module so we are multiplying it by 100 how much is the event dot loaded divided by total so this is all the methods guides I have given the source code in the video description so let me test out this application if it is working or not so if I go to localhost 4200 So I have shown you this, this is the project guys. So if you choose any sort of file, so if you, it will give you this percentage, which is there, you will see one, two. So basically it is uploading the file and also it is showing you the progress bar as well with percentage. So that's exactly my point. So we are uploading files, downloading files using WebRTC socket IO. And also we are showing the progress bar. So. So once it completes, it will give you this message that upload successful. So basically it's a progress bar. So the file is just uploading here. After uploading it, it will give you this uh, once it reaches 100%. So now you will see you get a HTTP response and inside the body you give, give this link here, which is this link. If I open this link. So this is your actual file which is download, uh, uploaded. You can simply click the download button to download the file. So this is the overall project guys. So please hit the like button, subscribe the channel. And I will be seeing you the next video.